Hello there you and welcome to a Russian village that is about to come under assault from a German blitzkrieg. Things are about to get very spicy today. Already you can see here German aircraft making their way in trying to do these preliminary runs on the front lines of the Russians and all that. There we go. Already the first casualty of war. Now the Russians here have laid out a very interesting defense. You can see we've got all these barbed wire, barbed wire? No, the hedgehog traps all the way along here. That's because the Germans on their side with their attack, they were trying to push around the outflank and encircle the village. Now the Russians do not want that to happen. So they've set up a defense to try. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's, that's the wonderful power there of the Katusha, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Making his presence known on the battlefield. Oh my gosh, look at that. A poor old half-track there, bearing the absolute brunt of it. These chunks of people and vehicle everywhere at the moment. But yes, the Russians have tried to basically funnel all the... Oh, Jesus. Can I finish my intro, guys? Or is everything just going to keep blowing up exponentially? Oh my gosh, that is fantastic there. But yes, so... Again, the Germans are trying to push in to the village. Now, the Russians have made this lovely little code filter here. You can see we've got some really fantastic little defenses here. We've got a KV-2. We've got a couple of T-34s in the mix as well. Now, we also have got a couple of field guns, a couple of 25mm uh, guns as well for the AA here. Now, a lot of the uh, Russian field guns are actually on the, this side of the field here. That's why. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Field guns on this side of the field. Of course, where else would they be? Like, yeah, they're not really that good with the uh, whole anti-tankness. Let's put it that way. <laughs> they're more artillery than uh, anything decent here. But it does look like the initial phase here of the German attack. Jeez, man. Has been somewhat thwarted. And our next wave is about to start coming in here. Now, we are going to have continual air raids on the Russian lines. So things are going to be very, very hard for the Russians to hold in this village. You can see half of it is already completely ruined. Now we're going to hold down this. Oh, gosh, here we go. Another strafing run coming in. Oh, God, his wing got taken out straight into the trees. I think that might have actually taken out a pack gun. Oh, it did. Look at that. He crushed a pack gun over here. But we do still have a nice little maxim lane covering fire down. But the village is heavily defended. Like I said, we have got lots of emplacements here. The Germans have got to try and get some units around. Look at this. They're trying to push around the flank and they're suddenly realizing, oh no, there's this massive hedgehog line. Are they going to try and make a way around it? Oh, Jesus. That Russian artillery pounding down. You can see that we've got these small ones. Oh, his track's been taken out. Poor guy is immobilized. Oh no. He's more than immobilized now. That'll be the Russian battleship, ladies and gentlemen. What do we buy the Russian battleship? Is this thing over here? Look at this. Now it's got a crew of ten, believe it or not. Yeah. And what's this? One, two, three, four, five guns on it. Oh, it's literally. It's like if it was a Warhammer universe. That is a Land Raider Crusader. <laughs> Yeah, look well, at this, man. The Germans are taking so many losses. The bodies are starting to litter the field. This very little cover out here. So they're going to try and use the wrecks as best as they can to try and push up to this little berm, which does offer them a little bit of cover from the village over there. Jeez. They've got to move up quick, though, because at any point, a Katusha could come in and just annihilate a big, big wave of infantry. Actually, I wonder if the uh, aeroplane will actually take out the Katusha. The Katusha is located back here, as we can see. Just behind the KV. At the very back, so it's got to shoot over the village to be able to actually attack them. So it does need someone to spot the enemies for him. Oh, speaking of. Incoming. Oh, man. There's another plane flies overhead. The Katusha is devastating the forest. Let's have a look, where's this plane going? He's making another circling run here. He's coming around for another run. You can see the AA guns desperately trying to take it out. There we go. Strafing the buildings, trying to take out as many infantry as possible. Oh, it has been hit though. It's going down. Another German plane down in the snow. Now, how are the emplacements over here doing? So you can see we've got another field gun over this side. 
We've got another... I think these are T-34s. So I'm not sure. It's one of the variants of them. Yeah, it does look like we're taking a bit of a punishment on these uh, gun sides here. Oh, it must be infantry pushing around. The infantry can still get through this side. That's the unfortunate thing. It is going to stop a lot of the vehicles, but infantry can push through. Let's have a look at the... Uh, gosh. <laughs> the Germans have definitely taken a little bit of a pounding now. Lots more troops have yet to push in. We have got a couple of more uh, bigger Panzer tanks coming in as well later on. Uh, later on. Can't see that. We've got one up here on the field holding the high ground. It's got to be careful, though. The battleship over there will actually be able to see him. But he looks like he's trying to clear out some of the buildings. All these buildings over here do have Russian infantry in them, defending them. So, yeah. Oh, there we go. They're finally starting to use this little berm. This cover. From here, they can actually start laying down a little bit of covering fire. Again, returning fire back into the buildings where the Russians are holding out. But they have got to be cautious, like I said. They don't want to get stuck down in this area for too long. That Katusha will reload eventually. <laughs> and he's going to let out another roar. <laughs> oh, man. Here we go. Look at these guys. You can just see all the Germans in the background. All right. How many times are you going to reload this gun, guys? Okay. That's, that's the fourth time. Are you going to shoot it? <laughs> that's crazy. I love being able to see all the uh, infantry in the background over there. It looks almost like a movie. You can see that we've also got things like this here. That's an anti-tank rifle grenade. So even if all the field guns are taken out, we do have uh, some little bits of defense still. Yeah, the Germans are taking a lot of losses, though. Just not enough armored vehicles pushing to the front. They tried to blitz it with fast-moving vehicles, but they've been pinned down by the snow. Not allowing them to use their superior speed here. The infantry desperately trying to push up, taking cover in all the forest. This little shelter belt here. But it is getting targeted bit by bit by artillery, which is just blasting it to pieces. Yeah, and they've got to take out these guns if they want to get close as well, man. These guns have just been laying the hurt on them for quite a while there. But one thing we'll do here... Oh, Jesus, man. That's what I was on about. They need to push past this uh, forest here very quickly. But what we're going to do is we're going to hit a little time-lapse camera over here and see if the Germans can actually manage to push up to the front end of the village. Jeez. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, the Germans have now committed significant resources here to the assault on the Russian village. And oh my god, that's a lot of half tracks out there. And I do think, oh my, yeah, we're just in time here for another Katusha barrage coming in. That's danger close, man. Oh, if the Russians 
if the Russians in these buildings were dead before. They certainly are now with them barrages coming in real, real close. You can see we've actually got a couple of German vehicles here making their way into the outskirts of the village. We've taken down a significant amount of planes as well during the uh, little time lapse there. It does look like most of the tanks are still intact. Though, actually, look at this. We have lost a vehicle over here, ladies and gentlemen. I wonder if that was because of the barrages or not. But yeah, not as many losses as the Germans have suffered over here. The dead are littering the field, including all the vehicles. It's hard to tell what's actually alive and what's dead now for the uh, German side. Yeah, look at all these guys now. Still trying to push up, using this Burma's cover, pushing across and around again. Back down into the other berm on the other side. Anyone who's trying to cross the road seems to be taking an absolute pounding. But the Germans are making their headways here. Now, is this, uh, is the battleship still over here still operational? It gives a little wink. Oh, look, we have, we've got some guy leaning out. Oh, I think it's been destroyed. Look at that. It has actually been destroyed. All the turrets are now empty. Interesting. So it looks like the Germans are making real good gains here. Gosh, you can hear that KV-2, though. This thing is an absolute beast of war, ladies and gentlemen. This will devastate any uh, tank that basically that the Germans can put in front of it. How are we doing on this side, guys? How's our field artillery looking? Still intact? Yeah, that's still good. Is this vehicle still? Yeah, we're still going here. Yeah, the Germans trying to push around, but again, them, uh, these uh, hedgehogs over here have been really good at stopping most of the vehicles from pushing around. A lot of them tried to make their way through, but yeah, it just bogged them down really badly. This guy's sort of just complete... Guy, get off the machine gun, get on the one on the back. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, you're just sort of going to get died there. But vehicles, like I said, we are getting there. Bit by bit, another run coming in from the aircraft. Are there any uh, AA guns left here to take them out? I don't know, actually. Of all the AA guns... Oh, I think all the AA guns have been taken out now. Interesting, yeah. Look, this one's down. So, it looks like Germans have now claimed air superiority here. I wonder if that's what did in some of the tanks then. And off he goes. Going back to refuel, rearm. Yeah, this is a nice little bit of cover over the side for the Germans. See that made PC tour. It's just working over the buildings, making sure there's no infantry in them. God, look at that over there. That is so menacing. Just that big turret looking at you. That's a terrifying sight. Jesus, man. What the heck was that? Really interesting, actually, to see if the Germans have got anything that'll be able to take on this uh, KV-2. How are they going to do it? If I was them, I'd sort of, like, flank around the sides of it, come around the back of it. It's very boxed. Mind you, is it even operational here? It looks like it's taken a bit of a beating. I can't see any of the turret hatches open. Oh my god, mate. Aim off. Aim off. What are you doing, my dude? No wonder this tank... Oh, look at that. No wonder it got damaged. Oh my god. That Katusha has probably killed more of the Russian side than anything else at the moment. We do still have machine guns, though, focusing down fire into these German lines. The Germans try and find any cover they can here amongst the desolate wasteland. Oh, my God, look at that. That's insane. So many wrecks are on the field. But more reinforcements do just keep pushing in. God. The sound of that field artillery is so loud. Deafening. Looks like we're struggling to spot targets now, eh? Have we actually got any uh, Russians left over this side? God, look at all the remains of the field gun. So, yeah, it's looking a bit grim. Oh, look at that. We actually got a vehicle over this side. I think that might have been taken out by our tank over here. Like I said, we do still have the field guns. Yeah, these buildings at the front taking a real pounding now. And the Germans are proper pushing up into them. You got to be careful, my guy. There is a KV-2 there. Like I said, I don't know if it's operational or not.
Because I think it might be trying to focus the bigger tanks over there. I think that's its priority at the moment. It has been shot at, so I'm going to guess it is operational. Man, that Kukov sound is crazy, isn't it? Just look at this thing. Is it going to detonate? Are we going to get the big explosion or not? Jeez. <laughs> Everything's just on fire. Let's have a look at the uh, bodies on the floor. Oh, my, yeah. Okay, so definitely lots of dead Russian infantry in these houses now. So we have still got Russians in these buildings, though. Look at this. Even though it has been blasted by Katushas, these are still defensible positions. Do you think we've actually even got some guys still in here? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> we've still got a brigade of boys in here taking cover in the remains of a factory. This field gun, man. It's been working overtime. Look at all them shells behind it. Oh, that's a terrifying. <laughs> oh, right over you. There he goes, off into the distance. Man, this game's attention to detail is crazy. Oh, that was a big hit there. I certainly heard that one. I don't know what's going on with this KV-2. I'm a little bit concerned. I think it might have actually been taken out. <laughs> oh, poor dude. Oh, we fell out of the building and then they still shot him. I think even maybe the Katusha might be down actually at this point. Oh no, there's still a guy in it. Yeah, there's still people in it. Oh, oh dear God. What are you doing? You me <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay, the Russians in there are still alive, but that was again a danger close. And these these German infantry are having a real old struggle, they're still pushing in. They're having to group up behind any cover they can. Except the Russians still offering up uh, a quite a nice defense. You can see these over there taking pop shots at them as they're coming in. Whoa! <laughs> Calm down, Hans. What's the rush, my friend? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say this is actually kaput. I don't think it's operational. It must have died in a way where none of the crew got to bail out. But the engine's still going, that's what confuses me. Is the turret just messed up? Yeah, it might be just that the turret is completely destroyed. But in that case, why isn't the go axle? Did that... Oh, it moved! I don't think it can turn. Okay. I think that's the problem. I don't think the turret can rotate anymore. But it can definitely aim up or down, so... If anyone walks in front of the turret, they should be dead. Like, these guys. You can fire at them. It still should be able to fire the coaxial as well, like I said. But it's not going to. This guy's got a real nice position over here, actually. Covering this entire sector. Is our field gun still going? Yeah, nice. Jeez, man. The Germans are taking so many losses here. But it is all mainly light vehicles. But you got to handy do them. They have captured the outskirts of this village here. But at what cost? I wish there was some way I could actually see, like, the, uh, the kill deaths here for either side. If someone knows how to do that, please do let me know. I'd love to be able to see the kill counters. There's one thing that this game is missing for me. It's being able to see in the editor how many I've killed and not whatnot. Go on, guys. Let's get in that village now. Go have a look inside these buildings. Oh, God. How many Russians are actually left defended? They're looking a bit bleak. We've got a couple down there on the uh, bottom floor. Any more up here? Oh, yeah. One or two still defending this building. 
I'm actually amazed that there's any left alive in this one, considering that Katusha loves to keep shooting at it rather than over it. We've still got the boys in the factory. A couple of them now taking cover. Yeah, I'm not surprised. A few of them have been shot down there. They tried to roll the half track up on them. But we have still got our tank on this side as well, though. It's not all over for the Russian defense just yet. Bria's starting to take a little bit of a hammering. And I'm a bit concerned now that we're starting to lose uh, guys on this field artillery. There's all the defense over the side been there. Uh, yeah, we've got Germans over here now. So there was a couple of... Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Again, look at that. Railing into his own building. That's got to have taken out a couple of Germans there as well. But what I'm going to do again is quickly hit another little time-lapse camera and let the Germans push up into the village here, see if they can actually overwhelm the defences, see if we can build up these body piles a little bit. We'll be back in a second. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's coming down to this. The last stand here for the Russians now. As the Germans come sweeping across the centre line. I do you think we've only literally got a few left? Yeah, a couple of guys here holding this side. Maybe one or two Russians scattered throughout the rear of the village. We have still got a field gun over this side, actually. One of the smaller ones. Though it's really confused about who it should be shooting at. Oh, actually, the Katusha's still here as well. I'm surprised that's still alive. What, and this field gun? Come on, Jimmins, what have you been playing at? <laughs> they did push up, though, quite far into this village now. Though I'm a bit concerned that they're not able to get any of their vehicles up close just yet. They're still taking an absolute bounty. Look at this armoured graveyard out here. So many just lined up, man. Oh, in comes another strafing run here. Oh, there's the Katusha. Trying to clear out the street there of German infantry, and my god, did he ever do it. <laughs> I love seeing little bits of debris just go flying through the air. But yeah, we still got quite a resilient defense here coming from, out from the Russians. I thought it was about to collapse, but no. The Russians are holding on for dear life. They have been pushed basically back to this area of the village now. The Germans having captured all this front end. Off we go, on to his next run. You can see that they're all milling about this uh, front building here now. Are the Russians inside? Oh my god. Are the Russians still inside here? Okay, there's one dude in here all by his own. He has got a PPSH. He's got a PPSH and a dream. The Germans are trying to breach now. This guy's getting no backup in there. Oh, what was that? I think, is the MG on this actually? I think the MG on this is actually working now. Either that or we've got some dudes up here. No, definitely not. Where's that MG fire coming from? Oh, is it here? No, I swear I could see MG fire. Or is it just me? Must have just been me. <laughs> ah, okay. Have, have the Germans... Yeah, look at all these. The Germans started running out of reinforcements yet again. Does look like they have just cleared out this building. Oh no, he's still holding on. Look at him. He's having a right go of it, this dude. For some reason, I can't zoom in any closer than this now. Don't know why that is. Actually, we've still got guys on the top floor as well. Yeah, look at that. We've still got Russians on the top floor. The brutal room-to-room -room fighting is definitely not over here. The Germans trying to clear out the buildings. <laughs> oh, that's kind of cool. I just noticed there's a, a Oh, look, they're waiting on the outside. Get a grenade in the room. The dude's literally... 
sat there looking at the door, just waiting for the next poor soul to walk through. Look, you can see the corpse at the bottom here of the German who rushed his room. I've got a feeling he's going to get shot from the outside, though. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. He got bum rushed. He got rushed. But the German who rushed him also got killed. Oh, that's kind of crazy. We've still got the guys up here. Germans haven't been able to come up and clear these guys out yet. As you can see, they've got to come up the stairs. Oh, yeah, there we go. I saw the MG move on that then. The MG is definitely still working. That's good. This tank over here still working? Oh, I think the turret has been damaged. Yeah, look at this. Things are getting blown off it bit by bit. Yeah, I think it's been damaged now. I do think this is the final roll call here. Unfortunately for the, J for the Russian defense. We have still got guys in this building, though, I think. Yeah. Look, these guys from across the street trying to give the brothers over there covering fire. This is probably where I was hearing the MG fire from earlier. Yeah, look at all these. Oh, my God. There is actually still quite a Russian presence. The Germans have been taking a lot of losses trying to push into this area. So they have taken... Oh, my God. <laughs> you see this now? This was the PPSH room. That was the guy that was in there. And they've now got an entire German brigade in there going after him. You know what? We're gonna I'm gonna quickly let this time lapse out. I want to see if the Germans actually manage to push into the building here. So yeah, I'm just gonna hit a little time lapse right here. Let's see if they can kill all these uh, Russians. Where's the rest of them gone? There was more there then. But yeah, we'll be back in a second. Wow, okay, that took loads of Germans then to rush into that. One of the Germans, I don't know if you saw, but he was stood over here and he threw a grenade and it landed right there and it killed one of his own dudes. I think he was trying to throw it, yeah, like that, up there. Oh my God, that guy just got railed on then. Then what's actually left then? I don't think there's any defenses left now for the Russians. I think that's pretty much all it here, ladies and gentlemen. We have got this one tank, but I don't think he can even shoot back anymore. It's had a tree land on it. It's getting pounded from every angle. It's only a matter of time here before it does succumb. But the Germans paid a heavy price for this battle here today, ladies and gentlemen. As always, if you did enjoy this content, do leave a like and consider subscribing. And a massive shout out to all you channel members who helped to keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the amazing Chaotic Pinky store. we got some really cool merch over there. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.